you are about to learn how to download and install Optifine 1.19.1 for Minecraft 1.19.1, which is our favorite, right? Who doesn't love Optifine? I love Optifine. So yeah, you're going to learn how to install it and how to fix any issues you might find along the way. Let's get started. And just before we get started installing Optifine 1.19.1, let me tell you real quick about Minecraft Apex hosting. The thing about Minecraft Apex hosting, besides all the great advantages that they provide you with, is that right now they have 25% off. I mean, I wish this option was available when I started my own server because 25 percent off would have been great for my pocket but even without the 25 percent off i still think apex hosting is the best hosting platform i have used different hosting websites but this one by far is amazing because i love the fact that i could access the server console through my phone i think that's hilarious my friends are out there playing and i could just change the settings in the server through my phone which is really useful but yeah if you want to start minecraft server java bedrock forge fabric any minecraft server that you want to use you could use apex hosting using the first link in the description of this video and now let's get started with the tutorial Obviously, step number one is to download Optifine, right? We need Optifine because that's what you're here for. So how do you download Optifine? Well, we do have a written guide on that. Go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Optifine. The main thing here, however, is to scroll down until you find a button labeled Download Optifine here. Go ahead and click on that button. Also, if you want to read through the guide and see a screenshot, feel free to do so. Once you click on this button, it's going to redirect you to the Optifine website, where as you can see, Minecraft 1.19 is selected automatically, showing the download button, but we don't want to download 1.19 we want 1.19.1 go ahead and click where it says preview versions and as you can see it shows the preview version for micro 1.19.1 chances are when you come to this website well unless you come today which is probably going to be the same but in a couple days this is going to be updated to a newer pre version and then officially to the official optifine version anyways once you're here go ahead and click on download if it looks the way that it might looks if not just click on the download main official you you get me right so anyways once we click on download for 1.19.1 it's going to to redirect it to this website where you're not going to click anything but the button label is skip on the top right that appears after five seconds once you click on that that is going to redirect you over here where we're finally going to click on download that should have started the download immediately in my case it asks me where i want to save it but for you it's probably going to download it straight away once we have the optifine downloaded we're going to go ahead and drop it into our desktop let's just wait for this blue ball to go away and and i know it's about to go away there we go now we have optifine 1.19.1 ideally in an ideal perfect world we could have started installing Optifine, but the thing is that we can't. And that is because any Minecraft above 1.16.5 would require you to update Java on your computer before installing mods. And Optifine is a mod, so we're going to need to update Java. How do we update Java? Well, first you want to check what version of Java you have. So go ahead and click where it says type here to search. Go ahead and type add or remove programs, as you can see. Click on that, and that is going to open this app where we're going to click on search this list and type Java. If that was too fast, I slow down the video and watch it again. Once in here, we're going to check what Java we have. As you can see, I have java development kit 18 that means i have the newest java out there possible right but chances are when you come here you don't have this you have java 8 java 7 etc how do you update to the newest java well go ahead and get rid of whatever version of java you have probably one other version and click on install once you select it and once you get rid of any java as you can see nothing appears when we type java we could go ahead and close out from outer room programs and we're going to click on the third link in the description which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install java i mean in here same thing as before you could read through the guide see the screen screenshots if that help you but the main thing here is to click download java here which is going to redirect you to the java download website now here you have two options you can install java 17th or java 18th they're both versions that work with minecraft 1.16.5 and above which is what you need i like to install java 18th but some people find it more useful to install java 17th for some other mods so i'm just going to install java 18th because it works perfectly fine with optifine 1.19.1 so once you select the java that you want go ahead and click on windows and then select the existing for installer that's the one that you want so you don't download any extra file go ahead and click on this blue line after you find the accessible for installer which is going to start the download automatically it always asks me where i want to save it but for you it's going to download automatically just like this and then you can go ahead and drop it to your desktop okay so now we have to install it for java 18 and we have optifine cuba can we start installing stuff can we can we do this already well you could you can install java 18 and hope that the installer for optifine works fine after that and chances are it might because this is a jar file and it might work but i don't like to do things that way i like to do things the right way to prevent any issues so i like to run a jar fix every time i install java because i will make sure that this little icon in here this little cup gets updated 
right? Many of you will have like little books in here or like a little folder sign or like maybe you open this and opens the internet and that's not what you want. You want to have a jar file that works properly. So how do you do that? You run a jar fix. Jar fix is a fix for jar files, right? So we're going to click on that fourth link in the description, which will have you come to our written guide on how to download and run a jar fix. It's really simple. Click on this blue button right here, which is going to redirect you to the jar fix website. And here you're going to click the blue line that says jar fix.exe, which is going to start the download automatically. In my case, it has me make sure that I want to download it. But for you, it's probably going to go to your downloads folder straight away. Go ahead and grab that file and drop it into your desktop once it's downloaded. And now we can close out from the browser. Don't close this video. You don't want to close out from the tutorial. Now we could start working and make sure that everything gets installed properly. The first thing that we want to install is the JDK installer. In other words, Java, right? So go ahead and install Java by double clicking the installer. Once you double click the installer for Java, it will print it with an administrator sign saying, do you allow this app to run? Go ahead and click yes. And then you will have something very similar like this. Go ahead and click next, next, and just wait for Java to install. Installing Java should be a very simple, fast process. And it's a requirement if you want to play any modded version of Minecraft about 1.16.5. We didn't need to do this before with all the versions, but now it's a requirement. Once we updated Java, go ahead and click close and you could even get rid of the installer now. We're done. You can delete that. And now it's time to run the jar fix. To run the jar fix, just double click on jar fix. It's really simple. Once you double click on jar fix, it's going to prompt you with the administrator sign. Go ahead and allow it to run. So you're going to get something like this saying that jar fix runs successfully and your jar files have been updated. Go ahead and click on OK. And now you could delete the jar fix. You're done using jar fix. Go ahead and delete it. And now we can finally start installing Optifine 1.19.1. Before we double click the installer for Optifine, make sure that you have run Micro 1.19.1 at least once on your computer okay make sure you run the vanilla minecraft latest release at least once and that you have closed out from the game and the browser completely i mean not the browser but the launcher completely and now we could go ahead and double click optifine go ahead and double click on it and it's going to open this thing up in here where we're just going to click install there's nothing else we don't need to do anything maybe you need to change the folder if you have installed minecraft in a custom folder but most of you won't have done that so anyways once we install optifine go ahead and delete the optifine installer and we're pretty much done let's go ahead and launch the Minecraft launcher and see if Optifine is working. And as you can see, once I open the Minecraft launcher, Optifine 1.19.1 is selected automatically by default on the bottom left, meaning that I install Optifine successfully. If Optifine doesn't show in here, click on installations and make sure that modded is selected so you can see all the versions of modded Minecraft, including Optifine. If that doesn't do it for you, just click where it says new installation. And where it says version, scroll down until you find Optifine 1.19.1. As you can see, Optifine 1.19.1 is right there. You can name this whatever you want, and then you click Create on the bottom right, and that will create an instance of Optifine. That is just in case it didn't come up automatically. Anyways, once we have it in here, let's go ahead and click play and let's see if it's working. And as you can see, when we open Minecraft 1.19.1, it already says modded in the bottom left, which is always something good. But the way we make sure Optifine is installed is if we click in options and we click in video settings, we now have a completely different menu, which is the Optifine menu. And as you can see, the shaders option appears for us to add shaders, etc. We now have Optifine 1.19.1 running successfully in our computer. And that's it, guys. I hope this tutorial was able to help you. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and as always bye bye